So Kim Nielsen back here. He's uh, he's a handy rider on a technical track, and he's got that inside gate in heat number one. Here we go then. First time this evening. Takes her up sharp, and away we go. Martin Vasilik makes a good effort there from gate number two with Kuber around the outside. Nielsen now coming up the inside. Oh, Martin Vasilik all out of shape. That allows Kim Nielsen to pounce. Surges through to the front. Yeah, the only place that Kim Nielsen got any wheel spin was just there on the way to the corner. He made a good jump and then they grabbed a handful of clutch. Bike spun immediately afterwards. There, Martin Vashlik, both feet out of the foot pegs. He's uh, pretty much out of control at that point as the bike lifts. And you can see there, good motorcycling skills to get it all back under control. But he's left a huge hole up the inside for Kim Nielsen. And uh, as you said during the race, his bike pulling beautifully off the corner. So once... Uh, Martin Vashlik had lost his momentum. Kim Nielsen just pounced through that gap. Three in white and off the outside is Jan Kovec. They're into the first turn and it's Jack Holder gets there. He's forced Anders Thompson wide. What a move there from Rasmus Jensen. But what a recovery from Anders Thompson. Where did he find that from? Jack Holder's now gone very wide in turns three and four. That's allowed Rasmus Jensen to come up the inside. Uh, and Mikkel Mikkelsen were, were both injured and would miss this round. But I tell you what, these two, Anders Thompson and Rasmus Jensen, doing a great job for them and keeping the Danish fans vocal out there, enjoying this. And uh, it was a great opening lap from uh, Anders Thompson there. Superb stuff from him. Bike working really well. He's out wide. He's using every ounce of grip in the dirt. Everybody wanting more this time. Tapes up, we're into the first turn. Lambert's got there, round the outside. Comes Lebedev's. What a first corner from Lebedev's. Held it absolutely flat out. Sheer determination kicked in and he picked up a super win. Yeah, I'm not sure what he does in the first turn, but he does it a lot. He just, he's, he, he shifts his body just into the right place. He gets the bike cruising forward at a great rate of knots. And it was a lovely first turn from him. He came under a lot of pressure later on in the race. Here we go then, heat number 14, tapes her up, Martin Vasilik absolutely nailed that. Smarslik chopping back to the inside, intelligent first corner from him, Holder coming into the picture as well. Look at Martin Vasilik, totally committed, ducks under the handlebar of Smarslik as they enter turn number three. Now Vasilik's out in front, Smarslik will be relatively pleased with second place here. Yeah, super determined ride from Martin Vashnik. Comes off the inside, makes the best start, definitely. Bike grabs, goes across the corner. Not sure he really meant to do that. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but Bartosz Smarslik wasn't quite able to find enough traction up the inside from gate two and get up the inside of Martin Vashnik, who then rode a sensible race, rode mid-track. Bartosz Smarslik just riding around the inside. Yeah, he's going to have to work hard now. He's just trying to use that outside line, but Kubera has been smart. He's around the inside. He's making it work. And I tell you, every time he goes wide here, Anders Thompson, he's got Wojciech oh! in his way. He just can't do anything about it. Kubera is going to hit the front. Yeah, out of nothing. You know, he was having a quiet night. He just had three points from his three rides, and all of a sudden he doubles his score. He's uh, got one more ride to come and a win there. You've got to say that uh, he has every chance of uh, getting into the semi-finals this evening.